Welcome to the auto shop. Um, part of my industrial arts load is I, I teach some basic auto and auto maintenance and just about cars and how to do the, your, your maintenance involved in cars. And we, uh, we always study brakes, uh, brake fluid, the types of brake systems, basic repair that an individual can do at home. And one of the things that I was always taught was safety around brake fluid and how brake fluid will damage clothes, brake fluid on the vehicle paint will cut through the paint. And so today we're going to do an experiment. I'm gonna bring you along. Um, this is for the uh, YouTube community, my current students and future students. We will use this in the future as well. So give you some variables so that we're on, on common grounds here before we get going. Um, we will be using just regular old dot three brake fluid. I have a series of patches out here. And what I will do is at the beginning, I will put the start time. I will put a small puddle by each white block. And then, you know, in a perfect world, um, I would set this up at, at 30 minute intervals or 20 minute intervals. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the start time and then I'm gonna try every half an hour to do a wipe and record it as I'm doing that wipe and then mark down the time um, and, and, and kind of follow that way. So other things to know is that this was dusty. It's an old hood off a of 1983 El Camino. And we are, uh, I, just, I just wiped it down. So there is a little dirt and debris on there, but um, older, older paint. So we'll see if that, you know, what difference that really makes. So, so let's get started, okay? All right, so talked about, we already got the patches down and we're going to try to put a consistent little puddle of brake fluid and as you can see it is running and I'm okay with that and you do not need to see me do all of this but that's what we're going to do it is 750 in the morning I'm going to mark this at 750 and that's what we're going to go with so welcome back, we're at uh, 8.20 and just make sure you know that I'm being real. We're at 8.20 and as you can see, we, yeah, my, my drops became runs. But we're gonna wipe this off at 8.20. And I would say that We can see that there's some oily residue and probably need to get a rag that's a little more absorbed. But the paint did not come off. So there's some promise. So we're at 820. Um, I'm gonna try to find a little better rag, but paint didn't come off. So we will wait another half an hour and do the next spot. All right, we're back at it again. It is 8.57. Um, once again, to be transparent, there you go, oh, 8.58. So, we've got a different rag here. Kind of wiping the surface. any difference you can start to see you definitely see a haze now where that uh that bubble line was um yeah i'm sure that would buff out but that's where we're at at uh hour and seven minutes in. All 
All right, we're coming back at um, 9.28. Something I, I'd like you to notice is that the, the brake fluid had come around my piece of tape. So if you ever need to get tape unstuck, brake fluid definitely would be the way to do it. Um, let's, let's wipe this surface. I don't know if you guys can see, you can see back here at 857 how light it is. If, uh, if you get in the shine of the light, but you can definitely see a, a circle around where the brake fluid sat. Um, Not penetrating through the paint by any means. All right, well, uh, we'll continue on and and wait. All right, folks, we're back at 10:05. We got one more spot to wipe here. There you go, being transparent, right? 10:05 and 30 seconds. And once again, we just see it stained. That paint's not softened any yet, so. There you go. We will check back later. All right, we're coming back. It is 11 o'clock. We had to take a little break there. Went next door to the wood shop. So let's take a look at this. Seems to be polishing the paint if nothing else. So there you go, 11 o'clock. We are now just a touch over three hours. I want to say it's removed your paint. Definitely is leaving a mark, but that mark isn't much different than uh, even an hour later. All right, we'll test back after a little bit. All right, we're at 11.32, 11.33, and we are going to remove that brake fluid off the other spot. Might have to reattach that. Uh... So as you can see, there's a haze, but it's there. There's no, uh, no paint removed, so we'll continue on. All right, welcome back to the experiment. There you go, 12.36. And we are going to wipe away our next spot. So far we have gotten six spots done. We're not having, I think it's a myth, folks. You know, clearly it is leaving color on the rag, but the paint's not getting removed. See it in the light there? You can see a bubble here, but it's not much different than those spots. So. Red, uh, oh, we're sneaking up on five hours, so we'll, we'll, we'll check back in a little bit more. So we're at 141, and we're an hour and 10 minutes, hour and five minutes after the last removal. Paint's still attached. So we'll, we'll continue on. Okay, last little clip of the day, 235, 236. 
looks to me like gravity has pulled some of this array down. You can see right, right around here is the circle, but the paint's not removed. I think that tape's removed. But the paint's not removed. You can scratch it. Not removed, kind of oily and just smeary. It's not removed. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm about to head home for the uh, school day in a little bit. And I've got a few spots here that I'm just going to leave that brake fluid on overnight. Um, and we will we'll come back and we'll, we'll test it and check it out and see if maybe uh, it sitting on the surface for, for 24 hours makes a difference. Um, but from 8 to 2 o'clock, so um, you know, in six and a half hours, seven hours or so, it didn't, it didn't remove it. it. It left a mark. It might have damaged the clear coat a little bit, but it, it did not remove the paint. So we'll, we'll see you in the morning. Morning. It is 7.12 the next morning. So let's uh, take a look and let's do quick removal. If you remember right, we went through and timed out a lot of other spots. Without a doubt, that brake fluid is leaving a mark, but it's not, it's not driving through the paint. So here is the next spot. I haven't really, we left off at 2.35 yesterday morning and it is 7.13 right now. Let's get her some additional runs. I'm pretty sure this experiment is going to probably end here. We could see that it is sitting on there for uh, just shy of 24 hours. It's definitely softened the paint. Yeah, where even that spot, it would smudge it, but it's not going to remove it. So what are my conclusions from this? My conclusions are that a little bit of a myth, I think that if you left brake fluid, you left oil, you left most any of this stuff on the paint for days, it's going to remove it. Um, in this first, in this first example, and black maybe isn't the best color to to test, but we went a half an hour, and we saw almost no markings left behind, and then going, you know, an hour and seven minutes later, we see that it had chewed into that clear coat a little bit and left a mark. I'm sure if you had some good rubbing compound, you know, you could see that hour and a half later and so you you end up seeing these I'm trying to get the glare just right for you but you can see the markings and none of these quite softened um, and I'm, I'm pretty certain that if I continued like I said this this paint now feels like a almost textured where these just felt smoother, like like you'd uh, wet sanded the metal. This now it it's actually got a pretty good texture to it. Um, so, if 
thanks thanks for uh thanks for going on this little experiment with me um i think that this is uh has been enlightening to to me so thanks for your time bye